Hey guys, it's Cardio Kelly here. I actually just finished shooting some new workouts for you and I was getting ready to make lunch for my family and I remembered the other day I had someone asking me um, about sugar and if I eat it or if I avoid it or uh, you know how I handle that in my diet. So I thought real quick here before I make lunch, I would share my, um, my approach to sugar with you guys. So no, I don't avoid sugar completely, but I am super mindful of sugar and um, when I'm taking it in, in my diet because sugar is hidden in so many things that you wouldn't um, normally think about. You think you're making a healthy choice and there's a lot of um, hidden sugars in there. So really quick, I'll just talk about what you should be taking in for your daily intake. Um, according to the American Heart Association, and I looked it up this morning just to make sure I had my facts straight, um, women should only be taking in six teaspoons a day, which is 25 grams of sugar. Um, and that is really easy to do without even knowing it. In fact, the article I was reading said that most Americans take in three times the uh, uh, suggested amount every single day. Um, so women is six teaspoons or 25 grams, and then men was a little more than that. It's nine teaspoons or 36 grams of sugar. Just to put that in perspective, you guys, one can of soda, which I don't drink, but one can of soda has eight teaspoons of sugar in it. And that's just... Uh, in general, there's other, um, a lot of them have even more than that. They have n somewhere from nine to 15 teaspoons of sugar in them. So um, one can of soda is your entire sugar intake for the day. So just kind of put that in perspective and keep that in mind when you are eating and um, looking at your food for the day and your um, the nutrition for the day, where sugar is. A lot of times we're just drinking it in. So for me, I no, I don't drink soda. I don't drink fruit drinks or fruit juices. Um, I pretty much just drink water. Coffee in the morning, and I do sweeten it a little bit, So I am, a, but I am aware of that. And um, I know that that's part of my sugar intake for the day because I, I just can't do black coffee. My husband does black coffee, no problem. I cannot. Um, so I am aware of that, but that's it for me as far as consuming sugar through liquids. Everything else, it comes through um, my food. So I just drink water all day long, and that's one easy way to get rid of sugar, um, extra sugar or excess sugar intake. Um, other things like to be thinking about or be aware of is that sugar is hidden in so many things um, where you wouldn't be expecting it. You think you're making a healthy choice and it's actually full of a t uh, like tons of sugar. Uh, check your protein bars, check your meal replacement bars, check your protein shakes or your protein powders, um, check your yogurts if you're eating yogurts, things like that. So here's a couple of the um, the brands or the foods that I chose um, simply because they do have less sugar or no added sugar at all. So for our yogurt, we do eat Greek yogurt and um, we use, I know this is probably backwards on the screen, but we use the Oikos triple zero um, yogurt. It's zero added sugars and zero artificial sweeteners. And that's huge because a lot of um, products and a lot of companies will say that it's zero added sugar, but then it's full of the artificial stuff. So yeah, there's no, you know, white table sugar in the makeup of the food, but then it's full of, you know, things like aspartame and whatnot that are also terrible for you. So you got to pay attention, not just for zero added sugars, but for the artificial sweeteners as well, because those are all really just sugar. Um, by different name. So watch for those carefully. The other thing to look for, um, a lot of things will have sugar alcohols in them. So it might say no, you know, low sugar or no sugar added, but then it'll have sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohol is just a derivative of sugar that they've chemically changed to have less calories. So you think you're getting like this healthy, low calorie food and you know, it says no added sugar, but then it has sugar alcohol in it and that's really just a different form of sugar that has lower calories. So it's, it's uh, extra sweet and less calories, but it's still not good for you. It is still um, just a derivative of sugar. So if I am going to eat sugar, I go for natural. Like regular old sugar is much better for you than any of the artificial um, or chemically engineered stuff. Um, but if you can't avoid the sugar altogether and just eat something that's sweetened naturally, like a little bit of stevia maybe, or something that has the fruit um, in it, like I was talking about, um, one thing that we do for breakfast is we eat oatmeal. We don't eat any box cereal because it's full of sugar. Um, so we just eat oatmeal and then we sweeten it with uh, fruit. So my kids love apples in their oatmeal, peaches, bananas, blueberries, things like that. And those, those fruits have those natural sugars that are okay to consume. 
and then they sweeten um, our oatmeal. So that's another thing that we do. Also, so here is, I've shared this before, but I'll share it one more time. This is the protein that I like. It is uh, purely inspired organic protein. And it says right on there, zero sh um, sugar alcohols. And then it has one gram of added sugar, but it's actual real sugar. It's nothing, um, nothing fake. So I, but again, I'm aware of that. I know that I am getting one gram out of my 25 grams of sugar from my protein shake. Um, if I'm not getting a protein shake and I'm having a protein bar, um, I, I always try and do a shake over a bar. It's a healthier option. But if I'm on the go or I'm just leaving the gym and I've got errands to run, a protein bar, I like the pure protein. Um, again, you can see right on there, it says three grams of added sugar. And I'm aware of that and I know that I'm getting um, added sugar when I have my protein bar. Um, but then also pay attention because a lot of the protein bars have all the sugar alcohols on the back, um, listed on the back. So it might say like no sugar added and then it's going to have tons of sugar alcohols. Um, so pay attention for that. So anyway, those are just some ways that I um, am mindful of sugar and taking it in. It does not mean that I never eat ice cream or that I never have a cookie or whatever with my kids because I do but when I do splurge and when I do um, enjoy dessert or sweets I don't feel guilty about it it does I am not worried about it because I know it's part of my general health and it fits into just my normal diet um, so I'm aware of sugar I don't avoid it but I do pay attention to it um, and I hopefully this helps so that you can do the same thing at home